Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Geology of Minecraft. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about stone and obsidian. Let's go down and put the sign on the exhibit. So let's head down through time and we'll get down to the exhibit. It might not seem that stone and obsidian are that closely related in Minecraft, but we can learn a lot from how the blocks are created in Minecraft. And so in Minecraft, if water flows down onto lava source blocks, then an obsidian is created. And this is very similar to what would actually happen in real life if you had lava and you had a lot of water flowing onto it. That's how obsidian, that's one of the ways obsidian can be formed in real life. You have uh, the lava cooling down very quickly and it doesn't have the time to make minerals. And so what you get is a volcanic glass. And I talked briefly about this in episode one, but geologically obsidian is not a rock. It doesn't have any minerals in it. Um, there, it's just all the atoms kind of frozen in place. But uh, the other interaction we can get in Minecraft is if we have the opposite happen, if we have lava flow onto water, we get stone produced. And we don't really use this too much in Minecraft. You can make some farms out of this, but what we normally use in Minecraft is when flowing water touches um, flowing lava and we can use that to make um, cobblestone generators which obviously doesn't work in real life there's nothing nothing like that so a minecraft world is is mostly made up of stone if we like at least the overworld is primarily the large bulk of the blocks that we have are stone in the world so we, you know, we see it all the time. It's one of the first materials that we mine. But uh, obsidian, we normally can find some uh, down, maybe you know, in a ravine like this, where you have some lava and a water source that's flown over it, and or, you know, oftentimes we'll bring our own water source, and this is, you know, where we're getting our uh, obsidian for Nether portals and and, and things like that. But um, in Minecraft. The obsidian is, is a very hard mineral. You need a diamond pickaxe to to mine it. Anything else, you know, that just breaks. It doesn't. You can't obtain it. Which um, it also has a very high blast resistance. So if you use TNT on on it, um, nothing happens. Unlike stone that just gets destroyed and turns into cobblestone. This is all the. Uh, waterlogged uh, blackstone uh, here so that's why none of that's uh, blowing up but there's no trickery with uh, the blocks other than me using uh, command blocks to to spawn them in but so the minecraft it's a very hard uh, material but in uh in real life obsidian is uh, very fragile uh, very uh, easy to break it's a it's a glass and if uh, times that I've found it uh, in the field, I can just use a hammer and it just shatters uh, very, very easily. Um, probably easier than than actual uh, man-made glass because it's, you know, man-made glass. We make it to be relatively strong, and uh, this stuff, uh, obsidian, uh, is is really fragile. But what about stone? What is stone? For geology, stone doesn't mean anything. Um, it's just a generic term, and it's more used as a as a term for building material. It's the thing that we use to build stuff with. And but we can look at stone and make some guesses about it. Uh, you can see that it has like these layers in it. The the texture on this on it has these horizontal bands and 
normally in geology, if a rock has like layering like that, it's more than likely a sedimentary rock. And stone, in, in a lot of places, the common stone that's used to just build things is limestone. It's a relatively soft rock that you can use um, and cut and kind of shape into to what you what you want. And I, I think this is what stone is in Minecraft. I think stone is supposed to be limestone. And um, it doesn't really have anything to do with how it's generated uh, because I think that just the generation portion of it is there because we needed some game mechanic to make it renewable. And I don't think it has any, any real bearing. And the same goes for cobblestone. Um, cobblestone is another just building material in, in real life. Uh, you know, we get it from breaking down stone and just, you know, it's a little, uh, chunks of stone put together and, and Minecraft, we can put it in a furnace and make it into stone again, but, uh, that really doesn't have any, any real life, uh, uh, analog or anything uh, like that. So in, in real life, there is a small connection with forming in water for limestone because limestone is a sedimentary rock and it is formed in water. And most of the time, uh, usually it is from the shelly bits of marine organisms. So you have clams and snails and uh, mol any any sort of hard shelled creature it usually produces a, a shell out of calcium uh, carbonate or some sort of calcium material calcium mineral when they die they leave that behind or when they get eaten they get the remains get pooped out of something else and they form layers on the ocean floor and over time those layers all get grown together. Other calcium carbonate layers grow and kind of weld all of that together and produce limestone. And, and the, where I'm from in the American Midwest, we have uh, meters and meters and meters of limestone in quarries that we, we use for all sorts of building materials and everything. The building... Uh, the university building that I work in is made all of, of limestone on the exterior. So that wraps up the episode. I think next time, I think I'm going to be talking about basalt, but not sure what's going to be after that. And I do have a question, if anybody's made it this far. I am thinking about the possibility of having like uh, real life examples in these videos. I have, uh, you know, obviously I have a lot of these samples and can actually show you what they really look like. But if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Maybe I'll make a separate video like the uh, real life uh, video that like, kind of goes along with these uh, Minecraft videos and stuff. But um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.